Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll explain what an engine oil filter is, its main parts, how it works, and why your car needs it. Stay with me. It's easy to understand and really important. All engine oil from the pump goes through the oil filter to remove dirt and metal particles. This prevents impurities, which cause wear, from circulating and damaging engine parts. Filtration is crucial because circulating oil picks up contaminants like metal, dust, soot, and sludge. Without it, these impurities would act as abrasives, drastically accelerating wear and reducing oil effectiveness. By continuously removing these particles, the filter keeps the oil clean, extending its life and enabling it to lubricate, cool, and clean efficiently. The common spin-on filter is a sealed metal canister that screws directly onto the engine, making oil changes simple and mess-free. So, let's take a closer look at the main parts and what each one does. Steel shell or housing. This is the outer metal container that encases all the internal components of the oil filter. It is designed to withstand the significant pressure and temperature fluctuations within the engine's lubrication system. In spin-on oil filters, this steel shell is an all-in-one unit that forms the entire exterior of the filter and is replaced completely during routine servicing. Base plate or tapping plate. The base plate, also known as the tapping plate, serves as the fundamental component of the oil filter, acting as the crucial interface where the filter connects to the engine block. It is securely attached to the open end of the steel shell, often by crimping or sealing. This plate is ingeniously designed with inlet holes positioned around its circumference, allowing dirty oil from the engine to enter the filter. Conversely, a central threaded hole is present for the clean, filtered oil to exit and return to the engine, facilitated by the threading that enables the filter to be screwed onto the engine's oil filter adapter. Beyond its role in directing oil flow, the base plate also provides essential structural support for the filter's internal components and, critically, offers a flat, machined sealing surface for the gasket. This precision surface is vital for the gasket to create a tight, leak-free seal against the engine block, preventing any oil leakage during operation. Gasket or seal. The gasket or seal is a crucial ring-shaped component typically fabricated from durable rubber compounds like nitrile or silicone. Nitrile rubber is widely favored for its excellent resistance to oil, high temperatures, and abrasion, while silicone offers superior heat resistance and flexibility in cold conditions, though it may be a more costly option. The fundamental purpose of this ring is to establish a tight, impenetrable seal between the oil filter's base plate and the engine block's mounting surface. When the filter is screwed into place, the gasket is compressed, forming a robust, leak-proof barrier. This vital function directly prevents engine oil from escaping the filter's connection point, thereby safeguarding against oil loss and potential engine damage point four. Filter Element Assembly The filter element assembly stands as the true functional core of any engine oil filter, where the actual purification of oil occurs. This vital assembly is primarily composed of the filter media, which is ingeniously folded into pleats to maximize the surface area for contaminant capture. This media can range from traditional cellulose for standard filtration to advanced synthetic blends for improved efficiency, or full synthetics offering the highest precision and dirt holding capacity for demanding applications like extended drain intervals. Supporting this media is the core, center tube, a perforated component crucial for providing structural integrity to prevent collapse under oil pressure, while simultaneously acting as the clear pathway for clean oil to return to the engine. Finally, end caps securely seal the pleated media, providing essential structural support and, critically, preventing dirty oil from bypassing the filtration process by flowing around the media's edges, thereby ensuring only purified oil circulates through the engine. Anti-drain back valve. The anti-drain back valve, typically a flexible component made of rubber or silicone, serves a critical function by preventing oil from draining out of the filter and back into the oil pan when the engine is shut off. This ensures that a reservoir of oil remains within the filter and the engine's oil passages, guaranteeing that oil is readily available for immediate lubrication upon the next startup. 
By maintaining oil pressure and flow to vital engine components from the very first moment the engine turns over, the anti-drain back valve plays a crucial role in minimizing abrasive wear, particularly during cold starts when oil might otherwise take longer to reach critical areas. Relief valve or bypass valve. The relief valve, also known as the bypass valve, is a critical safety component in an oil filter designed to prevent engine oil starvation. It activates when the oil filter media becomes severely clogged by contaminants or when the oil is exceptionally thick due to very cold weather. When the pressure difference across the filter media becomes too high, the bypass valve opens, allowing unfiltered oil to temporarily circulate to the engine. Although circulating unfiltered oil is not ideal, it is significantly better than having no oil circulation, which would cause severe and potentially irreversible engine damage. Most spin-on full-flow oil filters have this valve built directly into the filter can. However, if a spin-on filter lacks an internal bypass valve, then an external bypass valve must be integrated into the filter mount, either within the engine block or the filter housing adapter on the engine. This external valve functions identically, opening to allow unfiltered oil to reach the engine when oil pressure rises due to a clogged filter or thick oil, thus preventing oil starvation. A spin-on oil filter functions by directing dirty engine oil through its internal components for purification. Oil enters the filter through inlet holes in the base plate, then pushes past the anti-drain back valve. Oil remains in the filter for immediate lubrication upon engine startup. The oil then flows inward through the pleated filter media within the filter element assembly, where contaminants are trapped. Clean oil collects in the central core and exits back to the engine. Should the filter become clogged, a relief valve, bypass valve, opens, allowing unfiltered oil to circulate and preventing engine damage from oil starvation. And that wraps up our deep dive into the engine oil filter. Hopefully, this video has clearly explained what it is, how it works, and most importantly, why it's an absolutely critical component for the health and longevity of your car's engine. Understanding its role, from keeping the oil clean to preventing dry starts and ensuring constant lubrication, truly highlights just how vital this often overlooked part is. If you found this comprehensive explanation helpful and gained a clearer understanding of your car's filtration system, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more detailed automotive insights, maintenance tips, and in-depth looks at how your vehicle works. And definitely hit that notification bell so you're always updated when we release new content. Thanks so much for watching and staying with us.